Okay, this is a really short video on making um, maps using Excel. So you can see I've used a demo version here. In column A, I've added countries. In column B, I've added numbers of people. And then I've used it to make this chart type here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to do the same thing again here. So to start with, you need some data. Ideally, data you've collected yourself. We make the columns a bit wider so we can see them. So in this one, I'm going to write in country. And then we're going to put number of people. It could be number of something else. It could be number of sheep. It could be a preponderance of a particular uh, plant or disease or something else. But just for the sake of this, I'm going to keep it fairly simple. And I'm going to enter some very basic countries. So we're going to use United Kingdom. We're going to use China. Okay, we're going to use India. Uh, we're going to use um, Australia. And we could extend this list. And then I'm going to put some numbers of people in. And for the purposes of this exercise, it's going to be completely random. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that this data on the left-hand side is showing as geography data. So the easiest way to do that is highlight that area. And I'm selecting the bit below so I can use it as well. Go to Data and select Geography. Now, this bit works in Excel Online, but everything else from here only works in Excel Offline. And you can see it picks up the country name for these ones. If I click on the Show card, it should bring some data up about the UK. If it doesn't know the country, so if we put in something like Korea, okay, actually it picked that up okay as South Korea. If it doesn't know it, it will come up with that green question mark and you might need to be more specific in the name. Okay, let's put in a number for that one as well. Let's say that's 10. If we now highlight this area, and again, I'm going to select a bigger area than I'm using so I can add extra countries later. And I'm going to go to Insert, and I'm going to go to Maps, and I'm going to go to Filled Maps, okay? And what you should see here now, if I just expand this a bit so it's a bit bigger, is you've got this uh, series here that shows the lowest number I've got is 2 and the highest I've got is 10. And it shaded them according to what we're seeing. And it could be a nice simple chart title here like this. How many pupils in each country from Wellington or something like that. Okay. If we then change the numbers here, or if we add additional countries, so let's say we throw in some out of France and decide that 100 students have gone to France, you'll find that France now appears, and it appears really dark, and all the others fade off. Or if we discover I've made a mistake, and there's only actually two people in France, but there's 100 in China, which is probably a more realistic figure, then you'll find China goes darker and everywhere else goes lighter. So it's quite nice. And you can, if you click on this, let just get this to come up. OK, you can go into the color effects and format it so we get some different changes. This one at the moment is coming up with uh, a suggestion that it thinks it's getting most of the locations right. And also, if you go into insert and you go to the maps options here, um, if we go to the more map charts, just highlight that again. Go to the more map charts here. There are within this the option, let's just use this one again. Press OK. Yeah, there should be this colour bar that comes up at the side, so you can make darker ones. So you could, for instance, have this one, which is quite grey, with them lit up. So they can look quite different. Delete that because it's getting in the way of the other one. And again, if I do the same thing again here, and go to Data, sorry, go to Insert, go to Maps, and go to More Maps, there is within this, if I can find it, here the 3D map tool. So if I click on um, that one, you need to enable a couple of options, but in a second what it should do is it should put the locations that we've put on our two-dimensional map onto a three-dimensional map. Um, this is using Bing data, so you need to have an internet connection while this is doing it in order for it to map properly, and you do need to have the full version. Sometimes I find this can be quite slow to respond, um, so you do need to give a little bit of patience. So first of all, it's locating the United Kingdom. And can you see it's starting to put the points on in the places that we've suggested? So if we pull around here, we should have some locations on here. But then you do need to go through and add additional data onto this. So you need to put in the extra fields and so on. Um, so it's an expansion one that you can start to play around with. 
I'm just going to close that for now. For now, all I'm really interested in is this two-dimensional one that you can start to use. Okay? Thank you.